Authority Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff, certified most accurate by weather rate. Thanks, Alyssa. The weather is looking great for that Auburn game, by the way, around here for the watch parties. Maybe a few isolated storms popping up here and there, and I'll get to that in just a bit. Look at the ragweed popping up into the high category at 193. That's what my wife has been allergic to and just really feeling it. Look at the mold spores too, dropping down a little bit into the medium category along with trees and weed pollen. Notice the mega Doppler source, high heating cooling mega Doppler, our radar showing some storm activity, but it's all to the east, but there's a lot of it. And models didn't have this much. Thankfully, though, it's all staying to the east. We did have a little bit of pop-up activity in southwest Missouri, a few little isolated storms, but that wave of energy is moving out. But we're not done with it. We got additional storm chances throughout the morning hours tomorrow, mainly in southwest Missouri. You'll notice that's dropping southeast. Now watch what happens during the afternoon. Heat and humidity, outflow boundaries from those storms to the north, and you're going to get a chain reaction. Similar to what we saw today, I think a little more coverage, though, farther west over parts of northwest Arkansas. Not everyone sees rain, but if you do get underneath those storms, it'll provide a brief little downpour. Then it kind of quiets down into the Sunday morning time frame, only to have another system come through as we go into our Sunday evening. Let's look at that bikes, blues, and barbecue forecast. Temperatures in the mid-80s in the evening. So it's... It's going to be hot tomorrow, even if you're wearing the leather and the chaps, you are going to be sweating a little bit. Sunday, watch out for storms as you're driving down the pig trail, Highway 23. Temperatures in the lower 90s, dew points in the lower 70s, south-southwest winds at 6 miles an hour. Look at the cloud cover, though. Totally sunny looking west, a different story looking east. That's that wave of energy. Lower 90s in Harrison and mid to upper 90s in Fort Smith. Now, this it's just not right. September 20th, we're nearly record-breaking uh, temperatures, and look at the dew points in the lower to middle 70s. Feels like temperature is 100 degrees at 6 o'clock. Come on. This isn't right. 108 for Stigler, and that is leading to a heat advisory criteria. Now, tomorrow, another hot one. You're like, when does that colder weather move in? That's going to be on Monday. You'll notice on the two-day forecast timeline, temperatures in the mid-90s, some isolated storm chances possible. Then as we move into our Sunday, additional storms popping up. You can kind of see them developing on the right-hand side of your screen. Satellite and radar showing some storms off to the west. That's that upper level energy. We got that ridge of high pressure that's right over us. So I don't think it's going to be completely storm free over the weekend. However, I do think storms are not going to be super widespread either. Big time pattern change and you're going to see this unfold as we look at the cooler weather that starts to drop down into the area. See those blue shades? That's coming in the early part of next week. And then we'll remain kind of in that green color. So that shows you cool weather. And the really cool weather starts pooling in. So I'm going to say this, and this is going to be a little bit of a hot take. Um, no pun intended there. I think this is the last 90s that we're going to see for the rest of the year. I think that's it. This is summer's last hurrah, and it's right at the end of the summer season because we start fall on Sunday. Lower to middle 70s tonight. Tomorrow will be in the mid 90s. That is summer like heat and humidity. Sunday we're in the upper 80s so we drop off a little bit and then like I said summer's last hurrah. Say goodbye. Good riddance because uh, want some fall like weather. Tuesday through Friday we're going to see that temperatures in the upper 70s and we're hitting lower 80s Tuesday through Friday and uh, some cooler weather needed and coming our way. And coming up in the final weather cast, I met some people at the Chevrolet dealership getting my oil change.